Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Micah, today we are going to be talking about my Shop My Stash for the month of April. I am going to be talking to you about all the products that I used in March really quickly and then we're going to go into the drawers and select some products for April. Now I know that because I'm currently like um, posting all of my declutters etc that this month I really want to focus on using up some products that are currently in my, still in my shop, my stash that I want to keep in or to hit pan on them. Um, so that's going to be a focus of April. Plus I want to use some like older products because I don't want to focus too much on new in stuff this month. I've decided say for some eyeshadow palettes that I still need to try, but I just want to, I really feel like going back to old favorites so that I can really, really make sure that I use up the products that I want to use up. Um, Yes, you heard that correctly. We're going inside my makeup drawers because now that I've decluttered, it's looking not as messy as it did. So that means we can go in there and we can select some products together. So that's why I want to speed through this part first and then we're going to get going. So a product that's going to stay because I'm I'm running low on this. It's very lightweight at the moment, like it doesn't weigh anything anymore. So I'm not sure how much time I have left with the Prime and Studio Hydrating Primer by Essence, but I'm just going to use it until I use it up. And I think we're just going to look at a primer that I can roll into my uh, Shop My Stash once I use this one up. I think I have about a week, maybe two weeks left with this. Um, and I think I'm going to focus on one of the newer Essence primers that they came out with for the spring-summer season. So I can write reviews on that. For foundation, I am still trying to use up my IT Cosmetic CC Cream. As you can see, I'm running very low on that one. I want to use this up in April for sure, so this is going to stay. But I am going to roll in another foundation to replace it because the Hourglass Vanish Stick is definitely a winter foundation for me and not so much a spring-summer one. So I'm going to be rolling in another older foundation that I've already reviewed that I know I love and adore, but that needs using up when we get to foundation. So this I'm going to roll out. Uh, and this is going to stay. For concealer, I'm still using up the Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced. This is the Natural Radiant one, and this is not gone yet. It's still going strong, but I am starting to have to double dip in this to get a full application. So again, I think a few more weeks with this and then I'm done. For powder, I was using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder, and this is lovely, but do you see how much of a dent I have in this after just using it for a month. And I do really like the powder. So I think I actually want to replace this with the uh, Essence Skin Loving Powder that I got just to try something differently. And I do want to make sure I get some of those Essence and Catrice reviews up. Uh, so that's a product that I know I am going to stop using just for a bit. I, prob I will probably bring it back in like May or June because I like using up powders before uh, using up another one, but that one I think I can use really quickly. So uh, I do want to uh, make sure I do use another powder first, though. Um, what's also going to stay is the Solar Powder Bronzer by Soap and Glory. This is the one that I've decided I'm going to try and hit pan on. And I, I don't think you can really see, hold on, but you can just see like this left side is still very full, but this right side I'm just really having a really big dent in there, especially up here. So I think I can hit pan on this if I keep it in for another round. So that's what I hopefully can do. So this is going to stay. And because I was trying to hit pan on that, I wasn't really using my uh, Charlotte Tilbury one all that much. I only used this once or twice. I haven't even gotten around to writing the review for this, but this I'm going to roll out because I know I will exclusively be using this so I can get the most use out of it. So that's going to go back into the drawer. And what's also going to go back in the drawer is the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter that I had in here. I wanted to make sure this is one, was not too dark for me. It's not. I can make it work, but I feel the shade is better on me in the summertime. So even though I now know what I think of this product, I think I'm just going to bring it back in like July or August because I think then this shade will be even better on me. Uh, it's just a bit more of a rose gold rather than like a gold or a champagne. Uh, it does work, but it is on the darker side, and I do really like the packaging of this. So this is a lovely highlighter, but not something that I need to use right now. Uh, another highlighter I had in here was the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm, and I've kind of fallen in love with this. It looks gross because of applying it and sticking my fingers in there. I have found this is best applied with fingers, 
And I definitely want to, I'm not sure if I want to keep it in though. This is one I'm still undecided about. I'm going to put it back, like for the, put it with the products to put back into my drawers for now. Because I think I actually want to go back to my other Fenty highlighter. I want, I want to go back to some OG highlighters this month. That's for sure. And then for blush, we had these four in. So this is Essence's The Blush. What's the shade again? Breath Taken. And I wore this a lot in the first two weeks of the month. This was a really lovely matte but very universal blush shade that went with everything, even though it is more like pinky brown leaning. I was afraid it would be too warm, but it ended up a really lovely universal shade that went with many different looks. Oh, we have another highlighter in here. Becca's Rose Quartz. See, I forget, forgot it was in here because I really only used it with that Essence blush the first two weeks. And the last two and a half weeks, I was just using the Fenty one all the time. So uh, that's why I didn't, I did use it, but I didn't get as much use out of it as I thought I was going to. But it's a lovely highlighter. It's not going to go anywhere. And then the Melt Digital Dust Blush. Again, first few days of March, I reached for this, but the one that... You can see, like, the fingerprints. Let me clean it for you. <laughs> this is better. So the Natasha Denona Duo Glow in Ryo. I found that this blush per pairs so well with that Fenty highlighter and then that Solar Powder Bronzer. It was such a great cheek look. You will be able to see that if you um, saw my Get Ready With Me with these products. I love this blush. It's not one I have reviewed yet. It's one that I sort of like, like, I don't know why, perhaps because it's Natasha Denona, but I definitely want to revisit this sometime this year and then write the review. Um, so those were all of the cheek products I had in here. And save for primer, concealer, foundation, and bronzer, I am going to be changing up everything that we're going to put in here. I'm not going to select another bronzer, and I'm not going to select... Um, another concealer for now, I think, but I am going to select an extra foundation and an extra primer to go in here and everything else I want to change up. For, well, let's get these hair clips out of the way. For lips, I had the Fenty Gloss Balm Cream in here in Mauve Wives, and this was my favorite gloss that I had in here all month. I reached a lot for it in the first couple of weeks of the, of the month, but I am going to be putting this back into my drawers. And I also wore this quite a bit, the HD Dawn uh, lipstick. Oh, I have another one of these. This is probably still in a bag somewhere. Uh, but I've got a red one in HD Rhubarb, and these are going to go back into my makeup collection. These are really lovely, lightweight, creamy formula lipsticks from Revlon. These are the only Revlon products I have. <laughs> so that's going to uh, go back. And another thing that's going to go back into my makeup collection is the Fenty Gloss Balm and Fussy. Lovely, but I like the other shade a lot better. And then these, as you might might have seen, there are some products missing that I, I actually ended up decluttering. I sort of put them in here to see, like to make up my mind about them. So I ended up decluttering a ColourPop blush that was in here, as well as the other two from this uh, Pat McGrath set. And actually what I've done, you haven't seen this yet, because my makeup reorganization is not going to go live until Ma uh, May. But I've actually got my lipsticks up over on my vanity right now. So I, I'm not going to select any lipsticks for my shop, my stash anymore. Because I now have quick and easy access to every single shade that I have when it comes to bullet lipsticks. So I'm, I'm only going to be putting in maybe one or two glosses to try again. And then uh, I can have those in here and then all of my lipsticks are just up top. So then I uh, hopefully can keep track of the lipsticks I used in a month <laughs> and just get more use out of all of my lipsticks. But yeah, the Lisa Eldridge one in Carnival, I didn't really use this a lot. Um, it is a really nice bright pink shade, but if I went for a bright pink, I went with my Pat McGrath in Full Panic. This is such a really nice bright shade. And then I also did use this one a few times, but not that often. This is Flamingo Acid from Fenty. It's just a mini. And then I have Crush from Glossier. And this one I didn't use a lot. Um, it was definitely a lipstick I, I used a lot last year in the winter time, but not this time. ColourPop. The brow pencil is still working. I'm not sure for how long. I may have to select another brow pencil to try, but I can't tell how much product I have left because if I twist it up, it won't twist back. 
but I am going to be rolling out the brow gel. This is very dry and I just, I need to stop using it. So that's going to go with the use up pile. And then everything else is still okay. I rolled in the fix and last setting spray from Essence when my other one ran out. What was I using before this? Was it? I think it was a Catrice one. Um, I used it up and I put this one back in. So that is now currently being used up. I don't love the spritzer, but it is good enough. For mascara, I think we're still going strong with these for like another week or two with the Essence Lash, Lash Princess for sure. So I do need to select another mascara to replace that. And everything else is still going strong. Lip balm. My MAC Paint Pot shows loads of progress this time of, uh, this time around. Let me show you a close-up. Alright, so this is a bit gross perhaps, but as you can see, this paint pot is being used up. So, very happy with that progress. And then also this eyeshadow. Um, there's a, quite a big dent over on that side, so I think I may actually be able to hit pan on this sometime soon. So yeah, that's everything that's in here. So let's move on to the eyeshadow palettes that I have used this month. And then we're going to select some new stuff. So for the old palettes that I wanted to use, I went with these three. And I can tell you that I've used all three of them. I used the Nabla Soul Blooming most. I did three looks with this. I did a one shadow look with this shade, which worked really well. I did a, sh uh, a look in my Get Ready With Me with the Periwinkles and the Lilacs. And I did a peachy look just on a day where I had to go into work. So that was a lovely one. And I did my favorite Dusty Rose look with the Soft Glam. So I put Dusty Rose in the crease, used those two shades, bit of Mulberry, and then Glistening in the inner corner. And I did my favorite look with my Too Faced eyeshadow palette as well, putting Puree in the crease, bit of Bellini all over the lid, and I just kept it very simple with this one. Um, but yeah, it was great to get some more use out of this. But, are you guys ready for this? <laughs> These are all the new palettes that I tried. And I'm almost, when I say almost, I mean it, almost done trying all of my, like, little palettes, such as, for instance, this Kaleidos one. So this is the uh, Sashimi City. This is a six pan. And for Black Friday, during the Black Friday sales, I got a lot of, like, mini palettes with, like, four or six shades. And I've now tried almost all of those. So in April, I'm going to be selecting some of the larger ones to try. This was lovely. Um, I will have a 10 palette review up sometime in April where I talk about most, if not all, of these mini palettes. Uh, so it's not going to be a 10 palette review, more like a 25 palette review, but I'm just going to lump them all together. Um, Blush Crush from Colourpop I've used. This was okay, but I am going to make this part of my Colourpop reorganization scheme because I liked some of the shades, but it was a bit too pink for me. Um, Viseart Midsummer. This was lovely. I really like the look I came up with this one. Uh, lovely quality, and I now have a few of these like mini Viseart palettes, and I like them a lot better than I do the large one that I have. Colourpop Ritz I just whacked onto my face the other day because I had to get out of the door quite quickly. I think I may be hitting pen on this one. Um, so maybe I should keep that in here for like a very quick look. I'll keep Ritz in here. It's starting to feel a little bit dry as well, so I'd like to hit pan on it before it really stops working and I need to buy a backup um, because I still sell the shade. Pat McGrath, Interstellar. This shade ended up being not as blue as I thought. This has a purple-blue flip. I didn't know that because I'd never seen that in any pictures. Love the look I did with that one. This is... Risky Rose, which was also really lovely, a little bit more depth, and then the one that was my favorite is Floor Fantasy, because this was just the prettiest, softest spring look you could think of. Very sort of whimsical, which I loved. Um, Catrice came out with this like surprise limited edition palette. You can still buy it online from Boozy Shop. I think Cosmetic for Less might have it as well. It's an online only release with some cool tones and some warm tones and then some really fun pops of color. And I saw this and I was like, I need to review that straight away. So I kind of rolled that in. <laughs> um, that was not intended to be used. I really wanted to get some use out of my Carly Bible, which I got in the Black Friday sales. And I did three looks with it. Oh, and this, this top row. 
as I had predicted. So pretty. This shade, however, will only stick down with a glitter glue. That was a bit of a shame, but I had expected it because it's that very gritty sort of texture. And then I bought, oh, I tried the Beauty Bay Book of Magic. This was also a Black Friday purchase, and I really wanted to make sure that I tried this before I decluttered my eyeshadow palette collection because I was, well, you know my lamentation when it comes to the Beauty Bay Pastels palette. I didn't have lots of luck with that one, but this, wow, it, it was stunning. The looks I did with that were really, really great. So that one uh, was a keeper for sure. So that's empty again. So let's go and select some makeup for April. So welcome to my much more organized and reorganized makeup collection, especially this drawer was just a hot mess before I decluttered it. Like there was so much stuff lying on top that you couldn't even see. You'll see the before shots when I fill, when I post my makeup reorganization because, oh man, it was a mess. So what I want to do is let's do primer first. And Essence came out with some new primers. So I would like to try this, the skin sensitive, skin loving sensitive primer when the other one runs out because I know I can A, use it up quickly once I roll it in. And it's a one that I really, really want to try. And like I mentioned, I would like to try the corresponding powder so that I have some Essence reviews to do uh, this month because these products came out and I need to start using these things so I can actually sort of put them in. Um, let me see, foundation wise, the extra foundation I want to put in here, oh, what did I knock over? That was my Urban Decay Hydromaniac. I still have about half a bottle of the Naked Skin left. And this was of course discontinued and I'm afraid it's going to expire if I don't use it up soon. So when the IT Cosmetics runs out, I'm going to go in with this because this is a really great, very lightweight foundation that I just know I love. I said I wasn't going to select a concealer yet, but I think I'll just use the new Essence Concealer one, once the Too Faced one runs out. So that way I have some products that are new, but also some older things, because I do need to keep some new stuff in um, when it comes to like things I want to review. For bronzer, I'm not going to select anything, because that's already in there. And I was thinking, for highlight, I really want to go back and expand the pan of my uh, Fenty Beauty uh, Fire Crystal uh, highlighter for sure. I say there's a pan, let me show you. Can you see that, that little pinprick right there in the middle? So I really want to try and make that pinprick a bit, big, a bit bigger. Um, and I don't want to pull in a new highlighter. As you can see, I've got a lot of these Kaleidos ones that are... Those were purchased at the end of 2020, early 2000, like early this year. Um, I think, because that's quite intense, I think I'll just roll in my Kiko one. Uh, I want to get some more use out of this shade Fusion highlighter in shade 01. It's got a really nice dent in here. Let me show you. So I'm not sure if you can see, but it's got a pretty good dent in it already. So maybe, maybe something to hit, try and hit pan on this year. Who knows? It does still have quite a lot of product left. And then I think I want to get some more use out of my Nabla highlighter in Privilege. Um, then I've got something peachy, a bit more warm toned, something really bright and something more subtle. So that will do. Like I said, we're good for bronzer because I really want to make sure I get some use out of that. And for blush, I just I just want to go back to the OG. So let me throw in some picks here. Another Kiko blush, 05 Marsala. This is no longer for sale, sadly, but they still do a shade that's similar to this. But then it's like a solid pan, not three colors. So that's a good option. Um, what else do I want to throw in here? What's great for spring? Ooh, I think for something bright, I'm going to go in with Hourglass's Incandescent Electra because I would like to get some more use out of that. That's a nice bright shade for right now. And then what else? What else? What else? What else? That's a bit more peachy. Perhaps this Too Faced blush uh, in How Deep Is Your Love? That can be a good one too. So that's a bit more like pinky, corally. So then I've got three blushes, three highlighters. I've got a bronzer. Uh, I just have a lot of new cheek stuff to try out, but I'm going to try it off camera. 
before we do anything else. So I think that's it. Um, yeah, those are all of the products that I wanted to select from here. And then this drawer is now all like all of my eye stuff and like single shadow uh, uh, and lip gloss and things like that. Uh, so uh, I think I'm just going to see if there's anything here that I really want to try in terms of lip gloss. Yeah, I think I'll just roll. In, oops, I think I'll just roll in these two Power Twenty Eight lip glosses, so I can really give those a go. Uh, but other than that, lipstick wise, we're not going to be selecting anything. So I moved you to the other side of the drawer because here are like mascaras and stuff, and I just got myself the new Maybelline Sky High uh, mascara, which I don't think this is officially out in the Netherlands yet, but I already found one on Boozy Shop when I placed an order. So this is going to roll in when me when my essence one runs out. And I think that's it. We don't need anything else in here. Okay, I'm always afraid my drawer sets are is going to fall over when I open this drawer because it's so heavy. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a lot here that we've already used, so that we don't have to get to anytime soon. Um, but there are perhaps a few things here that I would like to go back to or that I finally want to start using. I definitely want to attempt and use my Blueberry Muffin from BH. That's definitely on the list. Uh, the new Essence Out in the Wild palette. I've only done one look with it so far, so I need to do some looks with this so I can write a review. And the same goes for the new uh, Catrice Lavender Breeze palette that isn't all that lavender. I did one look with it so far. And it's just not as purple. I think this may be the least favorite of the three I now have. I'm actually planning on buying the two warm tones that I'm still missing. I can still find the old one that was discontinued online. So I'm going to buy them. So I have all five of them. And then maybe in like the summertime, I can do like a big roundup video of all of the shades so that you know what you can expect of all of them. So those I definitely want to do some more looks with. And then... Uh, for like older palettes that I want to use, everything is in the next drawer, so let me take you there. Alright, so welcome to eyeshadow palette drawer number two. I've zoomed you in a little bit so that perhaps you can see better. I know I want to, for like an older palette to go back to, I really want to use my Norvina from ABH because I think this is just spring all over it. Plus then I can have a look at how it compares to the Catrice palette because of course the Catrice palette looks like it might be inspired by this. So I can uh, sort of pull, pull that in when I want to write the review for that um, uh, Catrice palette, I can do that. And then I also really wanted to go in and pull out the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde because I put this in my spring palette video in March and I just want to go back to it. Plus another sort of comparison I want to do is between these two puppies. So I was saying in my recent videos, how I feel that the Urban Decay Naked 2, let me put you down here, and the Glam from Natasha Denona offer something similarly. So I think, not sure yet I'm going to do it, but I think it might get ready with me. I think I want to do like one look with one palette on one eye and then a look with the other palette on the other eye just to see how they compare. I think that will be fun. So that is something old that I want to go back to, but I also have some new stuff in here that I know I want to use. The, not, the Side by Side by Nabla, I finally need to use this. I got this around Black Friday and I haven't played with it yet. So I need to make that happen. And then I was also thinking of, is that hiding under here? Where did I put you? Ah, here. I was like, where did I put it? But the Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse I also haven't played with yet. So this month is going to be neutrals and cool tones. Um, but I'm uh, if I still have space in the month, it may very well be that I don't because April is a shorter month But if I still have days left in the month before I do my next shot my stash I think I may pull in the Stone Cold Fox from Colourpop so that we've got those all um, That we've tried and that's hopefully what I'm trying to do like I really want to try and round up uh, using all of the stuff I bought from Black Friday 
before like the end of the month if possible, possibly next month, so that from next month onwards I can start using the stuff I bought this year, such as the Club Nebula and some other palettes that are new to me but that I haven't played with yet. So that's uh, that's sort of what we're doing right now. So yeah, these are the things I'm definitely be going I'm going to be definitely playing around with. So let's put everything into the drawer. So there you have it. Those are all the things that I wanted to put into this drawer. So thank you very much for watching my Shop My Stash this month. I will be doing a get ready with me with um, like a full face with as many of these products as I possibly can uh, for you by the end of the month. Uh, if there's anything you would like to see me do, if you think that putting that Urban Decay and Natasha Denona Glam palette like side by side in a look, let me know if that's what you would like me to do. <laughs> um, and then, uh, yeah, if there's anything else from these products that you would really like me to film with, then just let me know and I can make that work for you. So yeah, thank you very much for watching my video today. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I make three new videos a week. So I would love to see you in my next video and add you to my little family on here. And then I uh, hope, uh, hope to talk to you soon. Have a great day wherever you are and hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.